Hello lovelies, welcome to your practice. Namaste. So for the next few videos, we are going to be doing shorter, more isolated uh, movements and really focus on the strength, the building aspect to bring that all into our practice. So go ahead and grab what you need and meet me on your mat. Okay, so to kick things off, we're gonna go ahead and start off right away in heart melting pose. So come, bring your hips over your knees and then stretch your arms out in front of you. This might be a really long tabletop as you work into the upper back and the shoulders. You might have a little bit more mobility as you press through the hands, sending the hips up and back. Think about down dog arms, but on your knees. A gentle tuck of the chin, so you're looking straight down. And then think about turning your arms so that the inner elbows start to flare up towards the ceiling. Take a couple of, a couple of breaths here. Relax into the rest of the body. Breathe into the upper back and the shoulders. If there's pinching happening here, a couple of things, you can walk your hands wider, you can come out a little bit, or I like to grab the top of my mat and use that to push away. Just allow your heart to sink towards the floor. Two more breaths. One more inhale. Maybe your chin and chest start to melt down more. Next inhale, bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. We're going to thread the needle here. So take your right hand below your nose and then reach your left hand all the way up. Give your wrist a little bit of a roll. Inhale, reach higher and then we'll thread left underneath your right. Reach all the way through. Bring your ear and the back of that shoulder down towards the floor. Take a couple of breaths here. Stay as you are or reach the right hand up. Maybe you flip and find the low back. And then bring the right hand down, press down as you reach the left hand through and up. And then exhale, bring the left hand down. So swapping that out, right arm, reach it up. Roll the wrist one way and then the other way. Take a big breath in, press down more. Exhale, thread the needle, right goes under the left arm. And then whatever you did on the other side, maybe you mirror that here, or maybe one side feels different. One side might feel better in a certain space than the other. So even though we're focusing on the strength aspect, of our practice today, we still want to make sure we're connecting breath and movement. So we always want to stay aware of where our breath is. Release the left hand down, press down, reach your right arm up. A big inhale and then exhale, bring it down. Cool. So we'll go ahead and start right away. Walk your hands forward just a little bit. We're going to shift forward. So we're in like a low kneeling plank. And then we're gonna bend the elbows and start to lower the chest towards the floor. Take your gaze off the top of the mat and then engage your belly back nice and long. Inhale, press back up. And then exhale, press to child's pose. So we're gonna start off with these little tiny yogi push-ups. Inhale, shift forward. And you can choose to lower all the way down if you'd like, but think about moving forward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, back to child's pose. Inhale forward, exhale lower. Think about bringing your chest, your sternum, everything in front of your wrists. Inhale, lift up, keep your belly nice and tight. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale forward, two more. Exhale, bend elbows, look forward, lower. Inhale up, exhale back. One more, inhale forward. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale up. Exhale, child's pose. Nice work. Coming back into tabletop one more time. So let's go ahead and again, reach the arms forward. Sink the hips back, coming into a long child's pose. 
and walk the hands all the way back below the shoulders, come to sit on your heels. So reaching both arms straight ahead, we're going to turn the hands so that the palms face away from each other. We're going to take the right hand over the left, interlace your fingers, and now pull your wrists like someone's got a hold of your wrist and they're pulling it away. Breathe into the back of the arms, the back of the shoulders, back of the heart. Bring your chin towards your chest. And then you're going to bend your elbows to the side. Your wrists are going to come down towards your heart and through. Now, we're all going to have a little bit different level of this, but we want to slowly start to bring the wrists away from the face. Find your degree here. Some people can straighten their arms all the way. I cannot. Maybe you can. Get a nice stretch on the wrist and the forearm. Nice. And then undo that. Just as we came in, the hands come towards the face, the chest, reach them all the way out. And then unclasp your fingers, reach your hands behind your chest, uh, behind your back, and draw the knuckles towards the heels as you pull your heart forward, look up. Exhale, chin to chest. Keep reaching the knuckles towards the floor. Stretch across the chest, lift the heart. Gently unravel. So we're going to come back to either those child uh, pose push-ups, or we're going to add on a little bit here, coming into tabletop push-ups. So very similar, but we're just not pushing. We don't have that extension and the flow. So we're going to bring the chest forward, bend the elbows, point them to the back like chatter on the arms, but staying on our knees. So we're going to come halfway down, hover, and then inhale, press up. So think of it as a forward motion. As you bend your elbows, your chest comes in front of your wrists. And then inhale, press up. A little bit harder than the child's pose momentum. Exhale, shift forward, bend elbows, look forward, engage belly, and then come all the way up. We're also only coming halfway down. If you have a block, it might be helpful to measure halfway. Grab mine just quickly to show you how that works. If you don't have one, don't worry. Maybe you find a mirror or just feel your body in space. If you have a block, it goes in front of your fingertips, and as you bend your elbows, your shoulder taps the block, and we push back up. Bend your elbows, shoulder taps the block, and we push back up. Do four more of those. Bend your elbows, shoulder taps the block, lift your belly, and come back up. I always forget to pull the belly in. Bend your elbows, maybe you do too. Push back up. One more. Push back up. Nice work. Go ahead and sit on your heels. Give your shoulders a roll. So arms are getting lit up here. We're working on triceps. We're also going to be building strength. So as we continue on through our practice, this is the solid foundation for any arm balances that we want to play with, like crow, side crow, hurdler pose, ekapada kundiyasana. It's that one-legged split thing that looks really cool. Basically, any sort of arm balances are holding that pose of our chaturanga in the 90 degrees. So that's what we're working on, building strength in the triceps and the chest and building the shoulders. Awesome. So go ahead and come back into tabletop. Let's do five more. Now you choose. Stay as you are. A lot we're going to do six more because we're going to make it even on each side. Right leg reach it back. Pull the belly in, square the hip. Get that like really, really strong. Toes face the floor. Take an inhale. You might lift the leg, you might leave it lowered. We're gonna bend the elbows, find halfway. Inhale, press up. Exhale, halfway. You can add the leg, you can lift the leg. The higher you lift the leg, the more weight in the upper body. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, bring it up. And let's tap knee to nose just to round the spine. And then bring it down. Left leg, lift it, and then lift it high. Look forward, bend the elbows, halfway hover. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. Knee comes into nose, press the floor away. And then bring it down. Nice work. Give your arms a shake. Give your wrists a shake. Hands come out once again, right out in front. 
Flip, palms face out, thumbs facing down. Left over right this time. Interlace the fingers. Pull the wrists away as you round your spine. Breathe into the back of the heart. And then bend the elbows to the side. Sweep the knuckles through. This one goes a lot further. I'm not sure mobility difference, but stretch the knuckles away from your face. My other side didn't go very far. <laughs> and gently, slowly start to reverse that, bringing it down, unclasp. Sweep the hands behind, non-dominant grip. So try and get that baby finger on the outside of the other one. Take the knuckles towards the floor. Pull the belly in, lift the chest, chin to chest. Nice, gently release. And give your arms a shake, give your arms a wiggle. Awesome, so let's come into a forearm plank from here. Play out the hands, make a number 11 or interlace the hands out in front. That's optioned as well. Keep your elbows under your shoulders though. Try not to flare them out to the side. We're gonna tuck the toes under, lift the knees and hover hold. So we're gonna start with this forearm bear pose, pressing the elbows down, lifting the heart away from the mat. Tailbone is tucking in, getting a nice stretch to the soles of your feet. And then we'll straighten the right leg, lower the hips, hug that left knee in. Keep the left knee hovered. Three, maybe we pick the toe up. Two, one, come back into your bear pose. Low knees, elbows grounded. And then extend the left leg to the back, lower the hips, float the right knee in. So we really have to work on hugging that right knee in towards the chest, lifting it up off the floor. You can lower it to the floor if that's helpful. But as we get stronger, we're gonna float it off. And then exhale, both legs back, lower the hips a lot. So we're in one straight line. Hug the belly in, press out of the shoulders. Bring your heart slightly forward and squeeze your thighs more. Two, one, lower the hips all the way down for sphinx pose. Unclasp your hands if they're clasped and then pull your elbows back, heart comes forward. Chin to chest. Roll right ear to right shoulder, chin to chest. Left ear, left shoulder, chin to chest, big neck circles, big head circles. One way and the other. Nice work. So from here, again, we're gonna make a number 11. And again, you can also Interlace hands out in front. I find that if I interlace my hands, I kind of use the hands a little bit more than keeping the palms to the floor and really working on the shoulder strength. But you choose what works best for you. So we're gonna tuck the toes, come back into our low plank, pull the belly in, float the hips up. And then we're gonna slowly start to walk the toes towards the elbows. Keep your gaze between your thumbs. Walk the toes in as far as I go, pause. Press out of your shoulders. Two, one, walk the toes all the way back. Coming into low plank. Pause here or take your right knee towards your right elbow and bring it back. Left knee towards left elbow and bring it back. Take another breath. Walk your toes towards your hands, lift your hips. For three. Two, can they get higher? One, slowly start to walk all the way back. And then find your belly. To do that, you'll need to turn off airplane mode. <laughs> Come all the way down to the floor. Full breath in, full breath out. Press back into child's pose, straight arms reach them out. You can also take your fingers next to your toes and let your shoulders be heavy for embryo. Nice. Reach your hands back out in front. Let's go ahead and come into downward facing dog. 
Tuck toes, lift hips up and back. Pedal it out. Full breath in. Chest moves towards thighs. Reach through the arms. So we're gonna fire this up for one more strength building flow. So you can take it, any others that we have done, or use the knees, whatever works best for you today. So inhale, we're gonna shift forward into high plank. Exhale, we're gonna bring the right elbow down, left elbow down, walk the toes in for a dolphin. Take a breath, walk the toes back. Right hand plants, left hand plants, high plank. Right knee taps, right elbow. Send it back, three-legged dog, reach it high. Exhale, knee to nose, come forward, squeeze. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, roll to high plank. Exhale, left elbow, right elbow. Pause in low plank. Walk the toes in, lift the hips. Dolphin, three, two, one. Walk the toes out, low plank. Left heel, hand plants, right hand plants. Nice work. Uh, left knee to left tricep. Inhale, send it back, three-legged dog. Knee to nose, bring it forward. And inhale, downward facing dog. Nice, inhale, high plank. Exhale, right elbow drops, left elbow drops. Inhale, walk the toes in. One more time each side. Exhale, three, two, one. Walk the toes out. Nice, right hand plants, left hand plants. Right knee, right tricep. Inhale, three like a dog. Exhale, knee nose. Inhale, send it back. Downward facing dog. Roll to high plank, last one. Drop the left elbow. Drop the right elbow. Low plank. Walk the toes. Lift the hips. Three, two, one. Walk the feet back out. Left hand. Right hand, left knee, left tricep, glad I only just saw two. Three legged dog, knee nose, three legged dog, downward facing dog. Walk your feet forward, feet hip distance. Big breath out, catch it, interlace your elbows, hang. Connect back to your breath. Inhale, half lift. Turn the toes in out. Oh, toes out, heels in. Bring your elbows to the inner thighs. And then to our yogi squat. Steady the breath. Heart rate's lifted. Blood's flowing. The arms are probably warmed up. Mine are. Kind of burning. <laughs> Steady. And go ahead and come to a comfortable resting pose that might be Shavasana. It might be a comfortable cross-legged seat, maybe face down, anything that feels good for you. Steady your breath, maybe one hand heart, one hand solar plexus. So for a moment, Bring to mind anything that you were reaching for, anything that you were working towards, 
anything you'd like to invite more of, hold more space for in your life. Bring your hands to your knees, palms facing open. Eyes going to be softly closed. If you're lying in Shavasana, roll the palms open or any other shape, palms towards the ceiling. And then bring to mind anything you don't want anymore. Something that's no longer serving, maybe it was in the past. But in this moment right here, we don't need it, we don't want it, and we're ready to move through it. So in your left hand, visualize what you want to release. Maybe it's a word, an action, a feeling. Let it rest in your left palm. And in your right palm, what we want to invite more of. Again, a word, action, a feeling. Maybe there's a picture around it. And as you breathe in, breathe from the right palm. Draw that word, that energy in through your body. And as you breathe out, breathe out through the left palm. Watch that word, that feeling. What we're going to release, watch it start to get lighter or start to dissolve in through the right palm and out through the left. With every breath, we're creating this beautiful energy creating what we want more of. And with every exhale, we're releasing what we no longer need so that there's space for what we want more of. Inhale like a magnet, drawing it in. Feel it as if it's already true. And exhale, just a faintness left, almost starting to forget what it was that we no longer need. Keep breathing that in until you feel that the left hand is completely light. The right hand still filled with all of the things that we are working to invite. Take both hands, bring your right hand to your heart, left hand to solar plexus. Take a full breath in, a big breath out, knowing that as you are where you are, everything we want is already here, or it's on its way, it's around the corner. You are loved, you are supported, you are strong, beautiful friend. Love and light from my heart to yours. Namaste.